If you were to ask a local how to get to the ancient landmarks of Istanbul, chances are they'd tell you you're standing on one. As for the language, maybe you should start with the basics. Ask a taxi driver for a few tips. How are you? Nasılsın? This Turkish metropolis of more than 13 million people is teeming with history, literally perched at the gateway between the European and Asian continents. It's a prime place for a visit from the 787 Dreamliner. After all, the city's main airport sees upwards of 37 million passengers a year, and the region is a fast-growing aviation market. The Dreamliner's class-leading range capability, increased passenger comfort, and high efficiency will give airlines in the region a strong competitive advantage. When the Dream Tour landed in Istanbul, large crowds gathered to get their first glimpse of the Dreamliner. Captain Christine Walsh was at the yoke. As a Boeing test pilot, she spent a lot of time on this airplane, and she remembers how amazing she thought it was the first time she saw it. And you do start to forget that, working on the airplane, living on the airplane, traveling on the airplane. But all of that enthusiasm is renewed once you see the excitement of the people that have come on board. Guests from Turkish Airlines had a chance to come aboard and see what the buzz was all about. It feels really... Mm, wide and comfortable and bright. I think it has the correct name, Dreamliner. <laughs> and in spite of the rain, Turkish hospitality and excitement shined. The people are aviation enthusiasts, they're warm, they're friendly, and you can see from the response we had today, once you meet them, you talk with them, and you share an experience with them, they're truly friends forever.